Mpumalanga police top brass showing off new resources for law enforcement officials. They say crime fighting in Akonwuku will be taken to another level. But the local police station has been rendered useless after it was scattered by fire some time ago. Residents doubt the new police operation will make a dent in crime. When I look at it, it won't work because uh, now we have so many crimes and before they came here, we, we went to police station and asked them to change their working system. It won't work because even our judicial system, it doesn't give the police uh, full force to work against crime. A lot of people, they, they've been killed by gunshot. So, but uh, maybe this uh, uh, operation, it will assist us or it will help us. But my worry is one. Uh, our policing, they don't have enough uh, resources, but at least they produce some. But look at Akunuk uh, police station is banned. So how are, you go how are they going to work without a, a place? Cash and transit heists remain on the rise in the region, especially in the Etlanzene district. This week alone, seven suspects were arrested in connection with cash and transit robberies in the Akonuk and Gomazi area. When we look into our crime threat analysis, we had the information we are usually utilizing our community on the ground because these are the people that they know where these plans are being made. So we planned accordingly. So we knew that one of these days, because for the past three weeks they couldn't make it, we have stopped several of them. Last week already we have stopped three of them, the, the CITs, that we also recovered many of the vehicles. So today it was not the first one. Today it was just a mission of saying they must know that whether it's in the morning or in the evening will always be there. The police commissioner says they've identified crime hotspots and as a result, law enforcement officials will be frequenting these areas randomly. SABC News.